Look at here. Is your wife cheating? Uh Uh-oh, that's where we're going today. If you're feeling lost and hurt, join us as we dive into the tough topic and provide real advice on what to do if you think your bae is cheating. So we're getting ready to react to this video. Okay. Uh, A a really comedic brother. This video has gone (laughs) viral in in a few parts. It's a a three-part, so we're going to react, and and I'm ready to play it. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So I want y'all to pay attention now because I'm going to read some things to y'all. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this one's messy. Messy. (laughs) Okay. So she told her husband she's staying to work an extra shift at work, and we booked a hotel room for the night. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay tonight. Ooh. Is, is that okay? Mm. Yeah. Is it a problem? Is so she problem? on the phone with her husband. Yep, she on the phone with her husband. And that's her little creeping oh. boot mm-hmm. in the closet. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like R. Kelly. Uh, I'll give you a call. And they're getting ready to book a room for the night. Book a room for the night. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all with us? I'm, I'm just going to stay in okay. I'll, I'll be home by 7.30. Okay. All right, I love you. She lying. Bye. She's staying to work an extra shift. So you went for it? Yes. Not and happy, but yeah. And did she know he was filming this? You booked a uh, oh, hotel room already? Hotel room is booked. He's in my car. All right, but. So oh, yeah. is she? Is he trying to expose this woman? What's really going on? I don't know. We, 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 wait, 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 wait. Part two. Here mm. we go. We got part two. At the hotel room. Okay. She acted like she was on break when she called her husband while we at the telly laid up. Mm. Part two. It's me. What took you so long? <laughs> You playing? <laughs> nice bed spread. <laughs> Ciao. What's that like? Marriott? Yeah. He put it on her. She out. Mm, mm, she mm. out. Does she not see this man with his phone all night? Uh-uh. Look at how he rubbing her back. So, so loving. Oh, so loving. This is disturbing. Now, wait, 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 wait. We, 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 we almost there. Look at it. Look. Yeah, ain't, 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 now, that's, that's real love right there. No, this ain't no Mary J. Blige real love. Real love. Okay. So, so wait, wait, wait. Now, now, I want you to pay attention to part three because this doesn't come without consequences. Mm. Consequences. So, let's get into part three. Okay. Let's do it. Hey, yo, look, y'all is crazy, man. Why the fuck would y'all send that to my job, man? Why would y'all send that to my job, man? And then y'all send it to her husband. How the fuck does y'all even find her husband? Why would y'all do that? Why would y'all send that shit to my job, man? Y'all done got me fired, bro. I got fired. Today, I got they just fired me 30 minutes ago. Why would y'all send that to my job, bro? It's cool. I understand y'all like the entertainment shit. I like to see people go through whatever they go through and shit like that. And it's getting it's funny to y'all, whatever. Cool. But why the fuck would y'all do that? Why would y'all send that shit to my job? Y'all are diabolical as hell, man. <laughs> I can't do shit. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so we're gonna we go, we go stop that there. <laughs> so he is upset and in his feelings because he picked up his phone and decided to record. His side boo, his mistress, what have you, talking to her husband, lying about her whereabouts so, that, so they, them two, could go get a hotel room and cheat with each other. And he's upset that people took that video, sent it to his job to let them know what he was doing, and he got fired. But he's the one that's upset about it. I mean, hey. And he's hey, the one that hey, put it out there. Hey, hey, hey. You, you, now, I don't know. Hey. The internet, internet. Oh my gosh! So I, I just love the story, whether it's whether it's real, whether it's fake. I, p- 
people are still dealing with this kind of trauma mm-hmm. in the real world. So, mm-hmm. so the main thing I would say, whether this is, is hilarious, by the way, because I, I, I know if you don't think that you're going to have consequences for filming people and putting stuff out there like that, I, I just don't know. But if you're dealing with a partner who is potentially cheating, the first thing you need to do is confront them. Now, mm-hmm. confront them with grace because, remember, we can't always go hard in our conflicts. We have to show understanding, but we also have to be able to get to the bottom of what's going on in a constructive conversation. Thoughts? I agree. A lot of the times when you are confronting your a significant other about extra marital affairs, it's probably not going to mm-hmm. go so well. <laughs> And it's probably not going to go so smooth Mm. and it's probably not going to be all good. And I understand about having this peaceful conversation, but it's probably not going to be so peaceful Mm. because you have just interrupted our marriage by having an affair with someone. And we could have did the work before it even got there. But you decided to take measures into your own hands and do what you felt that you should do or wanted to Mm -hmm. do. Before we even had a chance to rectify what was going on between us. So it's probably not going to be so peaceful. So therefore, you might want to have a third party present, <laughs> therapist, yeah, pastor, yeah. professional help, wife, professional help, somebody, for sure, for sure. you know, in the midst when you, you know, confront your significant other about your extramarital fuss. Now, if this... This whole video we just watched, I don't know if this is real. I don't know if it's fake. I do know people in the real world are We're dealing with this, this exact right. thing. So my thing is, if you are an individual who may be participating in such activities with someone other than your spouse that you're married to, mm-hmm. first off, let's not pick up our phones and put it on social media first. Okay? Let's not do that. If you are going to play around And do what you want, play around and lay around. You might want to keep that as quiet as kept because Mm. once it's out there, it's out there for everybody to see. And you can't sit there and be in your feelings about people judging you or people talking about you or people possibly turning it into your employer because you did start out at work in in the break room, wherever y'all was behind the scenes. This woman calling her man lying to go cheat. You were at work. You were on company time. You were getting paid at the moment. So, yeah, you have real life FBI Internet folk out there who will turn your behind in because you at work acting a fool. So first, let's not put it on social media. Second, let's keep that in house. You need to be talking to your your spouse about what's going on and the way you're feeling and, and the things that you're doing. And if you are, in fact, acting as this man and woman were the first person before the Internet knows anything at all. It should be your spouse. And and finally, in closing, because we're getting ready to wrap this bad boy up. Mm-hmm. Um, if you are finding yourself in this situation, you definitely need to evaluate whether the relationship is worth continuing. I mean, you know, I would say pray for discernment for sure. Evaluate your relationship. Use God's wisdom. We've already talked about professional counseling. Don't feel like because that other person decided to cheat that you're all of a sudden bad or you did something that wasn't valuable. You have to focus in on your self-esteem, your self-worth, and what's going to drive you to peace. Don't let nobody walk all over you and be cheating in the dark.